Um, we actually found out the day after New Year's that um, we were entering into negotiations with DOE, and it was very exciting, very difficult to keep quiet because we couldn't make the announcement yet, but this is going to be a game changer for NC State University and for North Carolina. The um, ability to participate in the Clean Energy Manufacturing Innovation Institute brings up a whole new set of possibilities for the students who will be involved. It involves very interdisciplinary kinds of studies that have material science, engineering, packaging, moving things into the marketplace that our students will benefit from being a part of. We think that having this new institute here at NC State University is going to provide remarkable opportunities for our students and our faculty to engage in the problems that are most important in bringing this wide band gap semiconductor um, technology forward and to making it a reality that will um, increase energy efficiency everywhere. Well, we already have a lot of students at NC State that who are working in wideband gap semiconductor technologies. That's the strength that held, helped us bring this um, project here. One of the secrets to moving things from the lab into the marketplace is to be working with the marketplace to start with, to really understand the needs of consumers, the needs of industry, the needs of everyone, and then working backwards to try to find those solutions. NC State has a long history of working with industry partners, and that comes from our land-grant um, history, our ethos of really trying to find solutions to the problems that our communities and our um, industries have. And so that's really given us the ability that we've developed over the years to create large industry consortium that work together, that bring the industry partners in, we discuss what their problems are with them, and then we go to work and try to solve those problems. The point of this Manufacturing Institute is to um, support especially small and medium-sized enterprises that are involved in, in creating wideband gap semiconductors or in using them downstream, for both. And so the things that will come out of this institute will greatly aid them and promote economic development in our state. North Carolina lost a lot of jobs that are in what I would call low-tech manufacturing. And the place that we've made a lot of gains recently is in bringing high-tech manufacturing in through the efforts at NC State University working with industry. One example of that is in non-wovens, where are very high-tech um, kinds of new fabrics that are extruded rather than being woven are becoming heart stents or hospital gowns or other things like that and that has attracted industry here. In the same way, we're working in the clean tech field to um, create new advances and new technologies that will energize that and give United States and North Carolina the leadership in that technology.